Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're gonna to be talking about electromagnetic and mechanical waves. So we're gonna start off with electromagnetic. You need to know that they are always transverse waves. So they're never gonna be longitudinal waves and they do not require a medium. Therefore, they can travel through a vacuum. They can even travel through outer space because they do not require particles to travel. So we're gonna talk about some examples and all of the examples of an electromagnetic wave are found on the electromagnetic spectrum. So here's the spectrum. The very first one is gonna be radio waves. And I want you to notice something about this wave before we go any further. Notice that the wavelength on this side is very long and it goes all the way down to a short wavelength. So all of the examples that we're talking about on this side of the spectrum are gonna be very low energy, and every example on this side are gonna be very high energy, okay? So the first one is radio waves, we have microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma rays. Now, you might be thinking, well, where do they travel the fastest and where do they travel the slowest? So let's talk about that because they can go through anywhere because they do not require a medium. How a light wave works is it's gonna go through the substance or vacuum for that matter, and it's gonna be slowed down as it hits particles, okay? It takes a little bit longer. The more particles we have, a little bit slower it's going to go because it has to maneuver in between each one of those particles in order to go through it. So it's gonna be the very slowest in a solid where we have the particles the closest together. It's gonna take longer to maneuver through those particles since they're so densely packed. Now, as we go up, liquid is gonna be the next slowest, gas, and the very fastest is gonna be in a vacuum. Uh, so where there's no particles, cause there's nothing to slow it down, okay? Now let's go to mechanical waves. Mechanical waves are unique because they can be transverse wave or they can be a longitudinal wave. They can be either or. Now they do require a medium in order to travel though, okay? So here's an example of a longitudinal mechanical wave for you to see. And remember um, that sound is a longitudinal wave, so it's a mechanical wave. And that's the reason why we can't hear in outer space. It requires particles to travel or medium to travel. Therefore, there is no sound in outer space. Now, if we're looking at some examples of mechanical waves, water waves are a great example. We've already talked about sound being a good example. Seismic waves being like an earthquake wave, right? Um, any kind of wave that you see from like a slinky or a rope, even a wave done at the baseball stadium where everybody goes like, woo, right? That is a mechanical wave as well. So you might be wondering where this one goes the fastest, the slowest. This one is pretty much the opposite of an electromagnetic wave, okay? We know that it can't go through a vacuum. And in this one, the more densely packed the particles are, the faster it can travel, okay? So it's gonna go the very slowest in gas where our particles are farther apart. And as our particles become more and more dense or closely packed, it's gonna go faster and faster. That's because it's gonna travel based off of vibrations. Um, if you think of sound as a perfect example of traveling off of vibrations, the longitudinal mechanical wave. So if we have um, a vibration of particles, that is gonna hit the next particle and it's gonna vibrate that particle and it's gonna continue to travel until it hits the next particle and then it's gonna vibrate and it's gonna go forward hit the next particle and it's gonna continue that doing that. And that's how it travels distances. So the closer the particles are to one another, the faster they can vibrate each other and move. So if they're very far apart. It takes a long time for it to get there to vibrate that next particle in order to continue on. So that's why gas is gonna be the slowest because the particles are much farther apart while solid is gonna be the fastest because the particles are really close together and it can just hit it, vibrate it, and move forward very, very quickly. You guys, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you all so much. Hey everybody, go ahead and push that subscribe button if you learned anything from this video and you can see all my new videos coming out. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye everybody.